And what is up, everybody? Say hi here in the chat, and I will say hi as well for the first few people. And we're just gonna wait for enough people to get into the stream before we begin. All right, so how is everybody doing? Hello, Discord King, the person we've been talking with for a while, pre-stream, JVS, my partner in design course. Zach, what is up? Karate, hello. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's probably not. Uh, Roger. Doka, what is up? So this is uh, already the amount of submissions that we've got. Quite a few, but still room. Uh, if you get in there real quick, I'll still have time to try to get past these and yours as well. All right, so uh, just to give a, a, a recap of what this show's about, uh, essentially, you look at the YouTube description, there's gonna be instructions. You have to join the Discord server, which is a free chat application. And then if it's your first time joining, by the way, you'll have to um, unlock it by visiting the readme and assign a role and all that stuff. And it'll unlock all these channels and you come down here to negative space submissions and then you submit a design, preferably uh, a layout like UI UX design, or website design and app design of some sort. And you just submit it and I will review it if I have enough time. There's a lot of people who, you know, we just run out of time, you know, during the hour th that this show, you know, goes live and I just can't get to all of them. That's why you need to, or you should, idle in the Discord server all the time be, and then assign yourself the stream ping role. Uh, because usually 30 minutes to about an hour before I do these live streams and they can be kind of random at times, I, I mention in the news that, hey, the live stream's happening soon. Submit your designs now. You could be one of the first people to submit if you really want me to look at your work. All right, so let me go back to the appropriate channel, which is right here. And we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, with this one. All right, now usually I open these up off the side of my screen just so that I, if anybody tries to like do something nefarious, like put like adult content or something, <laughs> I don't want my channel banned. All right, so, all right. Uh, let's see if this person said anything about this design. No, they didn't. All right, so the theme of this particular live stream, by the way, is if I could fix just one thing. So I'm not gonna be going over all issues of which sometimes there are many. Um, I'm just gonna be going over the main thing that I think needs to be fixed, and this could be relating to UI or UX. All right, so um, what, would, what would be the main thing you, and you can guys can uh, respond in the chat, uh, would fix in terms of uh, fundamentals? Oh, we got an actual chat here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, hey. All right, <sighs> what is the main thing I would change? It's kind of kind of difficult to answer that question. Um, hmm. The main thing I would change, I know what it is. It's white space. Uh, if there's a single, like if I was constricted, the one thing I would change, it would be white space. I don't really think that I, especially on this large desktop, and, and I'm referring to at the current size, maybe at, uh, mobile, it could be fine, the white space. But at this large size, look at the amount of white space. So I think there ne it needs to be containerized. We need white space around the, the, the actual container. So like if I look here, um, padding is one rem. Let's bump that up to like 15 rem units. All right, that's a little bit better in my opinion. Now some might say equally, maybe color, I uh, maybe, color needs to change and the reason I say that is this this background's pretty cool 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 it's so mean no it's cool but I uh, having everything on top of it be kind of like opaque and also with the drop shadows I might change that as well um, so it, it's up for debate but anyhow um, it has potential keep at it get rid of these high contrast borders by the way um, you do, absolutely do not need those all right next up
All right. <laughs> I'm just ignoring that first submission. You're not going to get me. Okay. All right, let's uh, refresh this, see if there's anything. Site is still in progress, all right. All right. Oh, we got the glass morphism. <laughs> all righty. I, I like the type. What type is this? Ooh, a Verta. I like that font. I'm going to remember that, or not remember that. I'm going to write that down, a Verta. Yeah. All right, so one thing that it would change. Um, well, you know what? I personally, the thing that I think needs changed the most about this design, it's right in this section. And I'm gonna say color. Color of this orange type. I just don't think it goes well uh, with the design. Um, what we could do is, let's come down here and we're gonna change this color. Let's get the background color, and then we'll come down here. Maybe pretty gray, but not quite gray. There. Oh, I just hit escape like an idiot. Uh, let's do that again real quickly. Right around, right around here would be good. That should be enough contrast. I really like that more so than the original, which is right here, this, this orange. All right. Continuing on, I'm not gonna mess around with ratings anymore. Let us continue. All right, I already know right off the bat what I would change about this. I, I would I wanna see what you people have to say in the chat about what you think, you know, in terms of UI design fundamentals, what is the biggest thing that needs fixed here? Again, UI design fundamentals include typography, color and contrast, white space, I uh, scale, and I'm forgetting one. <laughs> There's like about seven of them or so. Um, oh, simplicity versus complexity. Um, I'm going to say personally, right, more white space or we could frame this differently less clutter. It is just, it's just too complex. There's too many things happening here, so we need to simplify it much more. I mean, we have this right here, we have this right here, we have this this uh, watermark-based uh, type that's happening here. Um, we have this type, we have this type, we have another watermark, and then we have a picture. Simplify this much, much, much more. Uh, and yeah, that can be, it can also cause an issue of visual hierarchy. Even though this is a real nice, large headline, you kind of look there first, it's still, I, th I would say it's mainly an issue of clutter. Um, this is a lot more simplistic, that is better. I like the uh, the masonry grid right here. Oh, and then this is, yeah, just, it needs to be simplified. Never a good look when you have a high contrast background and then you have you know, transparent form fields over it. It's just gonna be difficult for people to use. All right, continuing on. We have just a image here. All right, so what will we change about this one? I'm going to say just two things because really the fix requires two things. Um, man, maybe I might even say three. I, well, to, well, we'll say two. Topography, which will include the scale and also the excessive tracking or the line height between these elements, or no, letting rather. Letting is the line height, tracking is letter spacing. I, it's just too, there's just too much of a gap and it's also too large, which is forcing all the content down here to be pushed way down. So, you know, if this is your frame that you're dealing with, you need to scale down the size of coming soon, maybe put those on one line that gives you a lot more room then to put your subheadline and also your call to action. Because right now it's just, and there's also not enough uh, white space between update and this graphic right here. So you can just move this off screen like halfway, uh, make it a little larger, and that way it'll fill up the, the layout more and give you more white space between these two columns. All right, uh, next up, it's a Figma prototype. Let us check her out. 
All right, so this screen is shown when a person hasn't made any searches yet. Um, let's just take a look at one of these. Looks like this is probably the home page or the, the main page of the app. All right, so what would I change about this the most? Honestly, it looks pretty solid. Uh, I don't have any issues with this design as it stands. Um, maybe center this between this element, which I know is top of the phone, so it doesn't really matter, and right here, but I mean, because it's up a little bit high, but I mean, that's just me splitting hairs here. I mean, is there anything on this page I would change? It all looks pretty solid to me. It's good um, typographic visual hierarchy, separating out with the bold, larger type, color, contrast. Um, yeah, very solid work right here as far as I can tell. All right, next up. Look, I'm gonna have to do my own reactions here. Let me react to this, okay. All right. Next up, let's check this one out. All right, Orsbert, and I'm not gonna pronounce your last name. Web developer, I help brands and business design, develop, test, deploy, and monitor web-based applications. So I like the subheadlines because you're, you're talking about your features, you know, what you do. Um, but web developer, I don't know. I think we need to, I, I personally like more unique um, approaches to your headlines and that's something I've always talked about um, if that's the case I, I mean this is a pretty large type here you might want to scale it down a bit and also give it maybe a little bit of texture in the background um, just to make it a little bit more interesting what would I change though um, the, the biggest thing I would change this part is not too bad however we've got some issues here so what is the one thing I would change about this it's kind of hard, it's like a toss up between two different things, but I'm going to say alignment. All right, so the reason I say that is because just take a look where the very beginning of the W starts and also from. So these two are lined up correctly in the same column, but then offset just slightly right here is this uh, little container, which by the way, I would get rid of entirely um, and just have these right here. But then look at this, so we're, we're offset here, but then we're also offset way over here. This isn't even lined up with this type. And it's also centered, but this stuff is not centered, it's left aligned. This stuff is not centered, it's left aligned. It's, it's when you do this and you mix and match uh, text alignment like that, and also just alignment in terms of where you're placing your various elements, like this block right here, it really throws off the flow of the layout. It doesn't feel like a layout. It feels like it's just thrown on there randomly without thought. So you wanna make sure you adhere to proper alignment. Now also, um, there are some other things like with white space, not much white space up here at all, but then look at all the white space down here. So you wanna fix stuff like that as well. Next up is Reeve, Figma prototype. Let's check her out. Oh, by the way, somebody wanted to see my l large snake. <laughs> I'll show it after this. I got a video of her uh, doing a cool flip move, um, trying to get a guinea pig in her mouth. I'll show you in a second. Don't worry, it was pre-dead already. So anyhow, let's see what we have here. And see, uh, living on the edge here, using a unique font and also mixing fonts. I'm actually, it's actually not that bad. Uh, the font choices, I think that's pretty decent. Um, let me see if I can click anywhere. This is an act interactive prototype. Um, overall, I actually think this is pretty decent. Um, I'm not sure what this box has to do with anything. Uh, maybe the intention is there's some sort of animation. Again, this is a Figma prototype. It's not a live uh, website or anything. But what is it that I would change? Well, I mean, about this particular... Okay, so I'm gonna... There, there's nothing major um, in terms of you know UI design fundamentals being broken here, but because I want to offer at least some advice, I would change the alignment of home, uh, marketplace, create. These are all, all aligned with each other very well on, this, on a horizontal axis. However, I could tell 
it is up a little bit too high. It's not in the center of DR. DR's down a little bit. Um, that's such a minor gripe though, but honestly, this is all pretty solid. Now, it does look like this box is like pixelated a little bit. I'm not sure if it's a issue with the graphic or if there's an intention that it'll be smooth once you get to um, everything else. Now, I probably would with these cards. Um, it says ends in 13 hours. I'm not even sure if you can see that. It's too small. The type is way too small. So I would rework the type here as well. Next up, before we get to that, um, let me go ahead and add my own React here. I, yeah, I got this out specifically. All right, so this is my 17 foot reticulated Python. I have a huge enclosure in my basement. I actually did a YouTube video um, back in January or February, uh, kind of showing just the enclosure. I didn't have this snake at the time. Uh, this is her eating, I'm gonna play the video. <laughs> I trying to get this thing, and it usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes for her to get a big, you know, it's like this big. I uh, guinea pig into her mouth. Uh, it's kind of wild. Watch what she does. She flips over. <laughs> and then her mouth is just like this big. It's it's she's able to get it like really in there. And that's her head right there. Yeah, nuts. This is the whole enclosure, by the way. There's a waterfall and all that stuff. Anyhow, let's continue on. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. All right, I, my portfolio. I'm working on a redesign and need feedback on current design for a better redesign. Alrighty then. Let's look at it. There's a loading type of a graphic here. I just wanna make sure all is good. Okay. Oh, I didn't see somebody's. All right, I will look and see if I skip somebody. All right, the snake's name is Calypso. She's a 17 foot reticulated python female. All right, um, refresh. So there's a little bit of a, it took a little bit of time, so it's not too bad. Um, I like the nice, very subtle animation that comes in. Um, let's scroll down. You got the nice kind of smooth scroll and it's also kind of the, the, the sticky snap based scroll. So I like that. Um, Wait, let's see the scroll part. Hold the scroll. I'm trying to scroll. How do you do it? Well, that's kind of a, a UX issue. Um, I don't understand how to scroll right. Maybe you can't. Really cool I animations, however. All right, so if there's one thing I would change about this, what would it be? I actually know what I would change. I would change scale. It feels like everything's just really large, like up in my face, big time. Um, that's a small, honestly, that's a really small gripe. Uh, I just feel like some things are just a little bit too big, like this email in GitHub, that feels quite large and slightly out of place. Um, like almost it might get hidden. Um, other than that, this is really excellent. Let's see what the menu looks like. Yep, solid. Very cool, I could tell it's probably based on, you know, something like 3JS. All right, very nice. That was a good submission, all right. Oh wait, somebody said I skipped theirs. Who did I skip? Oh well. Aside from the first message. All right. Well, why did your message get removed? What did you do? Oh, God, no. That's, listen, if you have a YouTube channel, don't be asking people to subscribe in other people's streams. That's just weird. Like, it's cool to do it in your social media accounts and, like, in your YouTube videos, like I do. I say make sure to subscribe. But, like, trying to, like, field for, no, don't do that. Just make good content. All right, next up. How long have we been going for? Oh, 20 minutes, that's all? All righty. 
All right, let's check out the desktop. I like seeing the full view of things. What would I change? So we have a, a cool monochromatic sort of design here. You know, I think I could do this, possibly. Now can I actually move things around? Everything's grouped up, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I can't move things around. I ungroup, ungroup. So what I'm going to do is just real quickly, oh no, I can't change the size of the type. That sucks. I would scale down the size of the type just a little bit also, because uh, I don't have this, this font here. Um, and also decrease the lighting just a bit and get it away from the edge. I think this is way too close, not enough white space. So that's the one thing I would change is get this in line properly, scale it down a bit, decrease lighting, maybe slightly increase this. Um, and as far as see our service being wrapped around, like that's an old school aesthetic. Uh, I think you can do something like this, but it has to be executed in a more unique way. Um, this oval button shape that used to be a thing that you saw like in the late 90s, early 2000s, like as a way to, so, so it just kind of feels a little bit of an old school approach. A more new school approach would be to do the same thing, but make it like an SVG where it doesn't like completely connect, it feels hand drawn, and maybe less, um, not maybe not high contrast as well. This, this section of the design I like a lot better. Everything's in line, works well. Yeah, I would just move things away. Just feels like this should be centered. Look at that. That's a thousand times better than that. So just get things centered up. Awesome, all right. Next up, um, I'm not sure if I, yeah, okay, people are checking it off for me. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna spam everybody right now. Make sure to go to designcourse.com. If you haven't yet, enter your email to be notified when I, the big launch occurs here in 74 days. Um, and that is January 4th of 2022. Still actively working on the curriculum. I just added a bunch of new ones. This is the curriculum so far. There's 55 modules. There's videos. There's interactive tests. There's design challenges if you join the mentor program. Um, so yeah, a lot of people have been taking this. It has gone quite well so far. 400 plus, uh, about 430 or 440 members um, have people joined during the, the pre-launch week. So very excited about that. Let's check the next one out. Oh, there was one I uh, didn't follow, this one. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get that one. All right. Yeah, JBS has done a great job on that. That whole system is completely custom. Uh, it's in Nuxt JS and uh, JBS or Jelf Van Snick. <laughs> I created all that from scratch over the last year plus or so. We still have a lot of work to do as well. All right, um, is this an actual prototype that I can play? I'm gonna test just to see. Oh, there we go. All righty, there's a skip button up here. Um, so, um, all right, so one thing I don't like right off the bat, I guess it's not a huge deal. I mean, everything is centered except for the left alignment. I would center this type. I, that way it would fall in line with how everything else is completely going straight down the center right here. Um, let's hit next. Same kind of situation. All right, I would also change login. Make that login um, right here, right where everything else is, is set up. Also, I could, slight, I could see slightly an issue. Look how the, um, the username is lined up perfectly with this text field, but then password is in, is indented a little bit. You wanna fix small issues like that. And I'm sure during this HTML, or this HTML and CSS process that that would be fixed, but that those small things when you're showing clients or, or employers, you wanna make sure that everything is tightened up uh, as well. All right, 
Next up, let me uh, close that. All right, we got a guy with a trombone. That's a trombone, right? <laughs> Topic today is just like the one thing I, I think needs fixed most. All right, good photographs here. I like it. Just good music, and there's a cool sort of um, um, outline text, you know, interactive with the mouse situation occurring. Um, brass notes for individual demands. All right. So let's refresh to see if there's any, um, okay, so there's no animation. These are slightly kind of animated based on mouse position. Um, coming down here. All right, so it's kind of like a lengthy landing page, but um, I actually like this, this, this whole section right here, I like. It's pretty decent. Um, let me hit allow. Maybe have this uh, be a little bit more, maybe animate this and put it right here in the center. Maybe move this headline, subheadline up, maybe near the center or just right here. Um, one thing I don't like is the positioning of this type right here for the people's names. Um, I think you probably would be best just to put them at the top, not sitting right on top of each other. Because you want white space generally around your important areas of type. And that's, those are probably the things I would change. I'm kind of, not sticking to my idea of doing uh, one fix, but you know, let me get back to that. All right, so what is one thing I would change most about this? Thank you very much for T20S Grunt, one of my original uh, YouTube stream regulars here. That will help the snake food funds. I, yeah, all the, the food basically costs about $15 her animal and sometimes she doesn't eat them so I have to throw them away <laughs> she has no interest thank you very much um, next up this one what would I change most about this one we have several issues though <sighs> see this one this type of design has a lot of potential and to make it go to the, that next level we would we would really be able to um, do it quite easily, um, because these are just minor fixes. So what would I change most about this? This is going to be tough because there's a lot of small things. There's nothing like major, major, major. Um, so it's going to be hard for me to pick out one thing. Yeah, I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go through everything real fast about what I would change. First of all, the um, the type right here, this active element in the nav, not enough uh, contrast. So there's what I would do is take this light thing, make it dark, and then um, not completely black, of course, um, and then that way that would solve the issue of the contrast over here. Another issue is you have these gradient red or pinkish slash uh, borders going around this. Remove those entirely. It's just adding clutter to the design. Uh, next up, I, the alignment right here, I don't really like that. I would look at a different way rather than centering this stuff. Maybe left align it and, and figure out how to put things you know, a little bit better um, in, in, in maybe a two column approach. Um, so those are the main, oh, and then also the, the drop shadows. And those are coming in pretty hard. Soft drop shadows like that should be barely noticeable, so very subtle. Um, they're standing out just a, a, a bit too much in my opinion. I couldn't really pick out one thing. That was a difficult one. All right, next up. What is the name, the main thing I would change about this one? This one is, I'm going to say it lacks, it lacks structure, it lacks a well-defined layout. Um, you know, we have this centered here, everything's left aligned here, there's not much happening, it doesn't feel like, you know, an actual polished website design slash layout. Um, so I, I would work on trying to, you know, the, the greatest thing, you know, a person, I'm making assumptions here, um, who, who produced this 
the, the best thing you can do is try to gain inspiration from other successful works. Um, so go to sites like Behance, visit the UI, UX, the web design section. Same thing with dribble.com, D-R-I, triple B, L-E.com. Go to the web design section, try to get inspiration and just learn how to, to build actual layouts that have structure to them. Um, outside of that, some issues here, like I, the alignment, not enough white space between these two this, these two columns here. You wanna make more projects, move, move that button underneath right here, rather than just kind of centering it randomly. So you, work on your ability to create uh, structured layouts is what I would say. Next up, I'm zipping through these today and kind of going quick. We're not doing the whole rating thing. I think it's just unnecessary. It takes time. It doesn't mean anything. Next up. All right. Um, what would I change most about this? I'm going to have to say it is the form. The form just feels uh, too small. Um, the form fields are way too small. A, a quick, easy way uh, of fixing those, of course, add padding onto the form element. So uh, padding is only five pixels. Bump that thing up to like 1.5 M units. Look how much better that looks already. Um, this one, padding, uh, 1.5 M. Ooh, that's too much. So on the top, we'll just do like uh, 1 point, eh, we'll put like point four M units, let's do six M units, and then 1.5 M units. Of course, you'd wanna fix this. This is uh, something that can be fixed with CSS. And then also also the lack of white space here. But those, the size of those was way too small, and you, you just wanna space them out also with more white space. Also, this right here needs way more white space on the left and right, it's almost touching. Uh, an une unequal white space on the top and bottom compared to the left and right is a great way to just make your design look amateur and not polished. So definitely think about that as well. Next up is we got fancy animation. Alrighty. Let's drag this out. Right. Let's refresh, nice animation here. All right, uh, bespoke event caterers. Bespoke event caterers, I don't know what that means. Um, one thing I might do is fade this out, make it darker so that this stuff can kind of really come out more, higher contrast. That's the biggest thing I would change there. All right, so for this layout right here, Whenever you have a, I mentioned this before, um, whenever you have a high contrast, you know, vibrant background photograph like this, it's never good to have your content on top of it based on um, transparency. It just makes it too cluttered in my opinion. So I would increase, I, or I would probably just, in this context, you already have a graphic here that's taking the whole screen, um, not a graphic, but a photograph. Just make this a solid background color and create an interesting layout with this content. That's what I would do. Um, so yeah, let's continue on. How long we've we been at this? 33 minutes. I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if we're gonna go the full hour today. I'm feeling like not talking. My face is like. I'm not used to talking a lot. All right. Um, let's refresh this. We got a COVID stats section here did you guys uh, hopefully there's like stats that show how natural immunity is superior uh, never mind i'm not going to get into that because people get just so upset biggest issue here i'm going to say is white space look how close this is over here i and but look you have a good amount of white space from this panel this is very white and barely contrast that's fine though but you want to move this right here that's gonna help things align much better. Also, notice how you know this whole section is just kind of extending outside of this. You wanna make sure all these cards are start right here and end right here. And that's gonna help it because right now it, it feels just disconjointed, if that's a word. Um, it's discombobulated. 
Uh, things are kind of just not structured well when they're not clearly defined inside of uh, columns. Let me show you, by the way, I'm not sure if Jip is still watching this. Um, Jip, let me go to my Twitter account. Had made, um, I, I created a video uh, a few like last week, or I'm not sure if it was earlier this week or last week, where, um, let me find it, right here. Uh, Jip, yeah, so I created this layout generator. Jip made it better. Uh, and it's really cool way, to watch the video tutorial on how do you use this to create really interesting layouts. So these are just random grids that we can hit generate and you can change the number of cards it generates and the number of columns. And you can just scroll down and just try to get an idea of interesting layouts. And I show you how to use this technique. Um, so yeah, here's the URL, I will paste it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say those three words. I, I don't wanna my channel get canned or something. Um, let's let's get out of here. So that would be the biggest thing I would change about this particular layout. Continue on. By the way, everybody, make sure to join my Discord server. We're by the also I'm gonna be uploading a video showing I or, or announcing bi-weekly, you know, every two weeks, we're gonna have competitions, coding or design, kind of going back and forth between the two to start out uh, on the Discord server. Um, and so there would be prizes as well. So uh, look out for that. Make sure to, tra uh, to I said transfer, I'm reading this. Make sure to join up in idle in the Discord server. And don't just idle, be active. All right, so what, a, what is the biggest thing that needs to be changed about these designs? I'm gonna give my voice a little bit of a rest while I drink some water and you can let me know. Well, Sab got it correct. There's an issue of contrast slash clutter um, and it's all facilitated by this right here, these graphics, these high contrast graphics with text sit sitting on top. You can see it's barely, you can't even read the contrast. Uh, yeah, you're, there's a lot happening here that is completely wrong. You would be someone who would benefit from my designcourse.com. Uh, so go there, enter your email. <laughs> yes, I will spam anybody at any time. Um, so yeah, uh, you need to go back to the drawing board, uh, honestly. Um, the biggest thing that you could do is get rid of this background photo. That's the biggest change that you know you can make. Make it a solid color. Don't try to mess with gradients. Don't try to mess with glows or anything like that. Get rid of this, these, these, uh, the, the photographs right here, and it'll be a thousand times better. All righty, next up. So after COVID, because I had COVID about five, four to five weeks ago, and then it lasted two weeks, I've been going back to the gym hardcore. I'm a runner, but I stopped running this month, and I'm, I'm trying to get my muscles back. And I'm an old man, I'm almost 40, and I'm going hard, and now my shoulder hurts, it sucks. All right, cool story, bro, right? All right, next up, um, let's see here. What would I change? I like the, some of the cards that are designed here. I like the the um, photographs here. Those are well-structured photographs with good white space between the grids. Um, ooh, okay. Everything was pretty solid. I would probably move this down a little bit um, to kind of, I, I feel like this is too high, this whole section. You could probably stand, you know, based on the amount of white space here underneath these sections and the lack of white space up here, I think what we could do is move it. Here, let's see here. Uh, we got a margin top of 150 pixels. Um, maybe maybe 220 pixels. I think that feels a little bit better. Maybe reduce this slightly. But the biggest thing that needs changed are these cards right here. I uneven white space. I have to tell you. At the top, there's hardly any white space. So like margin top, um, 
2 a.m. Not working, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how things are structured here, so I can demonstrate it. But notice all the white space here, and then all the white space up here, very tiny amount. So you want to fix that. Also, I'm not sure about these type of labels. They feel like a button, but they're not. So you structured it, you styled it as a button, but it's just a label. So I would just get rid of the outline, the pill uh, button container, and make it a lot more simple. All right. Otherwise, it's, a lot of good things are happening here in this design. Thank you, Julia. All right. Next up. Oh, one of the cardinal sins um, that I've personally identified is occurring here. And I'll, I'll tell you in a second what it is, but let's continue. Not sure what it is I would change the most about this, but I would consider taking this type um, text align is align the text. My brain's not working now. Yeah, it's text align. Well, it's not working right now, but I would align all this stuff to the left. Um, whenever you have two columns and you have like a photograph in one or an illustration, I don't think it's ever a good look to align the text center in the second column. Um, I think what helps to define both of those columns is having all your elements aligned left, including the button, and then maybe moving it down as well from the uh, the navigation. It's pretty close up here, so more white space on top of this entire section. There are also some other weird things, like I don't like the checkbox right here, kind of, kind of pushing this off. It doesn't feel well structured. Instead, I would take this check, check mark rather and center it at the top with some white space on top and all around it. Uh, I think that would be better. And also, not too sure about having such colored text um, for the quotes. But there are some good things happening. I like the type overall for the most part. I like the font. Uh, just some small things like that. Have you ever like typed in a CSS property and for some reason you forgot the name? Like I was second guessing myself, is it text align to center? Like ugh, unreal. When you're talking at the same time and you're live, sometimes like a lot of things are going through your head that have nothing to do with freaking coding. All right. Um, all right. Very interesting pastel sort of uh, color scheme here. There's a few things I'm noticing. All right, so the one thing that I would change about this would probably be the laptop uh, approach or the computer approach to showing uh, project thumbnails. I think that's a, it's an old approach. Um, it's been done and it's kind of just cluttery-ish. I would prefer just having like a masonry grid sort of thing, maybe with cards with like a title on each one. I, I think this, like again, it's just been like, and also there's some alignment issues here. Um, I would probably just get rid of that approach entirely. Keep it simple. Um, and that's probably the main thing I would change. There's some other things here, like having these, uh, the the light red uh, or the pale sort of red pastel background colors with the gray text on top of it uh, for the placeholders I think that needs changed uh, for sure because it just doesn't feel um, it doesn't feel right and I probably left the line this submit button as well continuing on oh did I not get that one all right. We're at 45 minutes. Got through a lot of these, more so than usual, I think. Um, refresh this. Subtle things here. Um, lack of lack of uh, call to action. It's simple. The the uh, the visual hierarchy between the type is good though.
I like the approach uh, with the thumbnails here. This is much better than the previous version, in my opinion. Um, all slightly offset and rotated. I think that's a cool look. All right, so the biggest thing I would change here, give a call to action of some sort, not just the Twitter, GitHub, and Dribbble. Um, it, it could be a scroll indicator just to, to let people know. Um, I personally think yeah, maybe it might be best to have a button just said view projects and maybe it'll, it'll smooth scroll it down here to this section right here. Alrighty. Okay. I know what I would change about this section, but let's scroll down. I really like this section. It's pretty solid. I might want to move this stuff to where this begins, but that's a small gripe. Price comparison charts. Okay, so the biggest thing I would change here, there's a lot of different types of type that's occurring. We have the um, kind of sub headline, we have the headline, we have a description, we have whatever this is, uh, we have a rating thing, kind of like a little icon based list right here, and then we have the button, and then we have a secondary call to action. So there's a lot of stuff happening here, but they're all not styled differently enough from each other. And there's a lot of ways to combat that, but it's a lack of um, typographic visual hierarchy between these these elements mainly right here. So I would, I would look at a different way of either just maybe reducing or removing some of these um, and or style them, styling them differently. And there, there's a lot of approaches. You could containerize some of them with a background or something like that or change the tech, the type itself with contrast and or color and size. All right, next up after that. We are going to do three more and then we will conclude. All right, so I guess we're just looking at this area specifically. Something major incorrect, majorly wrong is occurring here. Uh, this probably isn't the intention that this person had for these floating labels to already have that stuff in here. Let's get rid of that. All right, now that's better. Now, the biggest problem with this now is contrast because these labels, they look like placeholder values, but they're really not technically placeholder values. Uh, because they float up here. Um, yeah, not enough contrast. That wouldn't pass the color contrast ratios from WCAG. Um, so that's the biggest thing. Also, please note, if this is t if there's type here, it needs to at least adhere to the minimum standards of 4.5 to one for small text and three to one for large text. So this would probably be like really low, like nowhere near 4.5 to one. You need to bump that stuff up. Oops, wrong wrong uh, button there, shortcut. You need to bump that up way more. Um, look, it says color here, let's change that. It needs to be at least like this, not what it was before. Next up. It's 4.5 to one, yeah. Enter your username. The username is optional. <laughs> Seems like there's a disconnect between those two statements. You're like, you're telling me to do it, but then you're telling me it's it's optional. So like, I don't know. Um, I can't read that type. <laughs> well, we'll just focus on the design. Seems simple enough, uh, but I don't know what's happening here. Um, let's just click. I, whatever, what happens after I do all, oh my God, that's a lot. Oh, I guess that's part of what this is or whatever it is, okay. Um, what I would say, the biggest thing I would, I would change about this is to add a little bit of texture in the background. Texture can come in many ways. Um, I probably wouldn't make, you know, the, the, the approach of watermark photographs, like that's kind of dated. I wouldn't do that unless it's a, a, the right type of photograph. Um, but texture can also be, can be just little, maybe graphic design blip elements or something. Just, um, it could be in a form of patterns or something. Just something to break up 
all of the white space here. Um, and it could be very, you know, subtle. You want it to be subtle. You don't want it to be, usually you don't want it to be high contrast up. Just something in the background to make it more interesting. All right. So that was the first one, right? And then we're gonna do two more. I'm hungry. So that's mainly why we're gonna conclude just a little bit early. What would I change about this? The topography. Um, yeah, this is a subheadline. I mean, this is a headline, this is a subheadline, but they're almost styled exactly the same. This is only slightly smaller. It's not different enough. So um, I would probably just get rid of this or get rid of this, and that way you're keeping it simple. That way you don't have you know multiple lines of text here. Um, also, if you're gonna keep this one, the letting has to be increased much more, which is the line height. It's too too small and it makes it difficult to read, or it's it's too little white space between the lines of text, so it makes it more difficult to read. More white space between these two elements as well. You don't want those almost touching each other. Um, things should have room to breathe for sure. Probably if you're going to use this color of text, use black for uh, the element or the type that sits on top of it, because that would not pass contrast ratios. So that's the main thing I've changed there. And let's do one more. A login form. All right. Biggest thing I would change here, way too much white space. I Usually people just get too little white space, but yet there is such thing as too much white space. And I think this would qualify as that. So, you know, I'd reduce that almost by like, like half of what it is in terms of the white space because it just feels too big and bubbly. So yeah, that's what I would change most about this one. All right, everybody. For now, I'm sorry if you are the people who are all beneath this, and there's about 10 of you or 15, um, just try to make sure to be here uh, in the Discord server and get, assign yourself the stream ping role which is right here. I mentioned it right here. That way you'll get notified on your phone if you have Discord or whatever, um, or on the desktop. And then you can get into this once this gets opened back up real quickly to be to be able to submit and you can be at the top. Uh, and that way I can get to your reviews faster where I say submit below. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go to permissions and turn that off. And there we go. So nobody can use it anymore. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, as always, make sure uh, to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet. Um, go to designcourse.com. Enter. Oh, not the admin section. There we go. <laughs> go here and enter your email address to be notified uh, when we release it. And yeah. Gary, uh, so how did you create the cool effect on the Design Course homepage? That is 3JS. I'm actually not happy with the placement and some of the stuff, but we'll fix that later on. But yeah, this is 3JS. Uh, this is a shader effect on the bottom, kind of a pattern that's happening here. I have several, uh, a bunch of videos uh, on 3JS um, on the YouTube channel. Just do a channel search for those. Um, yeah. So this will be coming, like uh, like it says, in 77 day, or 74 days, January 4, 2022. Um, already have 440 members from the pre-launch. They're all actively using it. If I show you the stats section, we'll see how many. I uh, There's three reviews waiting that I need to get to. 4,100 modules have been completed. Uh, yeah, so definitely excited about the big launch once we're able to finish everything. So yeah, you have to repost. Um, just wait for the next stream. Usually I do these streams on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Sometimes I'll do it on a Monday, but it's, it's very rare. Um, but yeah. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping on out. Thank you for the uh, chat blip T20S, or the, 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 what did I say, chat blip? The, uh, the super chat T20S grunt, yeah, and I will see you all soon. All right, goodbye.